Milena Palukowska, a Bulgarian girl in Poland. A Bulgarian girl in Poland. Milena Palukowska. Hello, Toastmasters, friends, guests, everyone, future Toastmasters. I'm Milena and I live in Poland for the last seven years, almost, almost seven. But, and I come from Bulgaria. And you know which is the question I get the most here in Poland and very often? Can you guess? Why? Yes, the first one is, what are you doing here? And the last one is, why Poland? And you know, the thing is that in the beginning I was wondering, but is it so bad that I am here? Or is it so bad that here? You know, but during the years I found out why I actually got, uh, get asked all the time about those things. Polish people basically don't believe that Poland is a good place to live. And I can tell you that I collected for you a few stories of my life here in Poland because I want to convince you that Poland is actually a good place to live. It's a very funny place. Of course, it's full of contradictions and exceptions and own rules, but it's a place where you can actually have a comfortable and great life. Just one more thing I want to underline that is only my personal experiences, my only personal stories, and I don't expect you to have the same opinion or anything, but I know a lot of those things will be very similar to you also and what your understanding of Poland is about. So I divided, I had a very long list, believe me, very long list of things I wanted to share with you, but I divided the three main areas I wanted to share with you. One of them is manners, the other one is consumption, and the third one is language. And I believe those three things are very, probably the most important ones in Poland and what I've seen. Banners. Who the Polish? Polish people are very educated, very well educated. They study at school, they go to universities, but they're also very well educated at home, very traditionally also. They always say, I call them the small words, they always say, thank you, goodbye, whatever. This, those are the things that you don't use in Bulgaria. So in the beginning, I was a bit surprised. Why do you always say, thank you, excuse me, somebody pushes you in a crowded bus, but you always say, Przepraszam, like, are you kidding, why? <laughs> but the thing is that here, everyone is doing it. So I began using it also. But apart from very well educated, I also mean great manners. Men are amazing gentlemen. I really love living in Poland. Sometimes they go too far. For example, what happens, not only that they will open the door for you, but when they meet, Polish people meet, they will always kiss you on the cheek, but men really kiss you, you know? It's not really touching cheek, women would understand me. But they kiss you, it's like, in the beginning it was like, oh, gross, like, are you kidding? It's like, it's touching cheek when you meet. But in the same time, Bulgarians are doing something different, which also was really stressful for me. In the beginning, Bulgarians hug very, very deep hug when they meet. They don't kiss, but they hug. Imagine I'm me and hugging and everyone here. Men was in the beginning, were in the beginning a bit uncomfortable. Women would be like, or, <laughs> okay. At some point they got used to me, but I can imagine it's a big, big cultural difference. Another thing about manners I wanted to talk to you about is about work and party. I don't know, still, I'm still not confused which one you like more. Of course, Polish people work a lot, work a lot, but they like long weekends. It's a lot of party, a lot of party. In every time they come back after a long weekend, oh, it was so tiring, now it's time to recover at work. <laughs> you know? And Monday morning it comes, it's like, oh, four more days to go. Four more days, <laughs> Monday work, Monday morning at work. It's just a great place, great place where you can meet a lot of those cultural uh, diversity and a lot of people coming here in the beginning it's a stressful situation but then when you get used to it then you realize that Poland is a great place to live for another thing if we move to consumption related to partying consumption one of the most important thing is Polish cuisine is amazing people really stick to the traditional food pierogi, skabowy it's really tasty well my favorite food is rosso I have an interesting story about it my, during my first year of studies, my flatmate decided to cook chicken soup for me. For those people that don't know what rosso is, it's chicken soup. So she cooked the chicken soup and she said, okay, 
let, let me just give you some a bowl of chicken soup. And she takes the chicken out of the soup and she gives me a bowl of pasta. I'm like, why did you take, take the chicken out? I don't know which one of us was more confused by the question. <laughs> she was like, but this is the thing, you know, this is chicken soup, no, it's pasta soup. Give me the chicken back. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to consumption, I cannot go without the vodka. Everyone is doing it. Everyone has it in their home. The recipes are just from potatoes to melon and everything, every type of vodka. Always occasion to drink vodka. Always occasion to have one more shot and one more, even when you don't know where you are and you don't want any more. One more shot. God damn it. More vodka. I heard on the radio, I think it was last week, somebody said, 18% of the young people prefer to drink wine. And the guy said, oh my god, we're losing our Polish identity. <laughs> damn it. My third point is the language because I really have problem with Polish language. The language, why is it so important? I will give you a few things. Only Polish people can have the difference between proszę and proszę. One of them is a pig, the other one is please. And you know, it's really important difference. Another one is cieszę się, which means I'm glad. And the other one is cieszę się, I'm brushing my hair. But I still can't get the difference and I had a lot of mistakes of those. I think the worst word in my life was zawat. Wiem, zawat means to fix something. I told one day my boss that I'm, but zawat wiem and zawat wiem she is totally different. <laughs> I found out that my, I told my boss because zawat wiem she means I'm pooing. One day I told my boss that I'm pooing at the post office, <laughs> in front of the call office. Language. And my favorite is the teeny tiny words you have. My husband's mom bought herself a car and she called it Honda. She called it Hongina. It's Hongineczka. <laughs> it can be also Słodka, but it's Słodziutka. Słodziusienka Hongineczka. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my god, it's so difficult to learn this language. So difficult. I think Poland is a great place to live in. It's contradictory, but it has amazing attitude of the people. It's fun and easygoing. Guys, you should be happy you live here, and I'm very happy I live here, and I'm going to stay. Thank you.